welcome back to Bilbo's Lunch and if you're new, welcome. Today we are going to show you a day of homeschooling, how we kind of do it, what our process is, I guess, and where we do it. We've gotten a few questions wondering how it's going. It's going pretty good. We are both enjoying it. We've had struggles. Don't get me wrong. We have both cried <laughs> through this process, but I don't have any regrets, to be honest. I have zero regrets. So anyway, let's just get into our day of school and let's go. The first subject Bella is starting with today is typing. This is through typing.com. You do not have to pay for it. It is free. I don't know if you can pay and get extra things, but we are just doing the basic learning of the keys and finger placements and posture, and it's working out great for us. So she does typing for about 15 minutes every day, and some days she wants to do it even longer. One of the days really fun. Yeah, it, typing is, is it one of your favorites or what's your favorite? I mean, it's my second favorite. What's your first favorite? Math. Oh yeah, math. Bella is now doing her math that we do through teaching textbooks. It's an online subscription service that you pay for and it has a teacher that will come on and teach the lesson as well as walk you through all of the problems, right? Yep. So how many problems are there? Like 20 problems? I think there's like 22 and sometimes rarely 21. Okay. So she'll do her math here and then she also has an actual book and you can choose to do one or the other or do both, but we are doing both until we find that it is just too much yeah. but for right now we are definitely just going to stick with doing both so she'll do it online and then it's the exact same thing in the book which can get redundant but i feel that it really helps bella learn and kind of retain it plus it's math i feel like you need to do that in writing sometimes anyway so here she is answering her question do you know the answer let's see if she gets it right um <laughs> and then also there is a spot in here where I can log out of her account and log into the parent account and I can see the correct answers that she got so I'm not standing over her the whole time <laughs> when she's doing math I can go and do my own thing however when she does it in the paper book I do have to correct that one myself the next subject we're going to do is out in our living room we are doing the good and the beautiful language arts this is a free download. You do not have to pay for it, which is amazing. However, you do have to do a lot of printing on your own and a lot of writing on your own, <laughs> which is fine. I got it all set up. I just used a couple little notebooks, as you can see them over there. And then I'm also using a three ring binder that is just to kind of keep myself organized. And on the front of my three ring binder, I have a buy a puppy game. And on the back, I have climb a mountain word challenge. So those are just fun things that we do at the beginning of each lesson. And then we get into the actual lesson itself. Yeah. So I'll give you a little sneak peek of what it looks like. I'm gonna do it in fast motion. I'll maybe put it, some music to it. I have no idea what I'm gonna do when I edit this, but we're gonna go ahead and do language arts. Yep. So we thought we would take a quick little second and just show you how we keep all of our stuff organized. So Bella has this planner. We got the idea from a cute little cupcakes mom. She bought one of these planners for her daughter, Sophia, and it is the perfect little student planner. Bella has all of her days written in here so she knows exactly what to do. And once she completes one of her subjects, subjects. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> She puts a little sticker next to them. These are actually my stickers from my planner. And my planner is from personalplanner.com. 
and I actually keep track of the days this way. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so like this is a blank page. So this is what my month look or my week looks like. Ooh, Halloween. Is it canceled or is it not canceled? Who knows? <laughs> Um, but I keep track on the blank side, but you can totally customize it. Hey, go grab one of my other planners. Okay. And it is very, very pretty. Yeah, I love these planners. So you can pick the co the covers that you have on them. You can pick what you put on them. You can even put in Bella or Bella's, people's <laughs> birthdays. You can put Bella's birthday in there. It's August 31st. But this is next year. I made my days a little bit larger. So then I don't have to write it on this side. I can just go ahead and put it right in here. So you can make it to what makes sense for your life. When I got this planner last year, I had no idea I'd be homeschooling this year. So <laughs> that's why um, it looks the way it does. And actually, I'm really kind of digging the note section that I put on here, but I also like this. But see, even the bottom, you can customize it. So this year I had a little calendar and then a blank space. And next year I'm gonna have a little coloring pages or little coloring things I can do at the bottom just to doodle each week. I am doing a giveaway over on Instagram. If you want to get yourself a planner and totally customize it to however you want, it also comes with, let me, I just have to show you all the bells and whistles of this cool planner. So it comes with this little pocket, just one. I just borrowed mine from last year to stick in here. You get a ton of stickers. You also get a ruler where you can keep track of what week you're on. And then you can personalize the front cover or the front page. And I always do a Disney quote. quote yeah. Yeah. So anyway... These are our planners. This is how we keep organized. And head on over to my Instagram. It's linked down below if you want a chance to win a gift card to purchase your own planner. Bella had one more thing to say about her planner. I also have a word that says today. Yeah, so Bella has a ruler too that she can mark her weeks that she is working on. Yeah. So next we're going to do all about spelling. So Bella is just getting it set up right now with doing the letters on a whiteboard. I have all my cards here, but I wanted to show you in case you're doing all about spelling, how I organized everything. I just went and got one of these containers from the Dollar Tree. You can buy a container from All About Spelling to put your cards in, but I believe they were $10 and this was a dollar and <laughs> hello, I love myself a deal. <laughs> and then I use these little containers also from the Dollar Tree to organize all of our letters that we put up on the board. So the ones that we do most frequently, I have in their own spot and then the next two stages of letters I have in their own little containers too. This is our basic setup. We started at lesson one. There it is. <laughs> and they do recommend you use a way larger whiteboard than what we have going on and they want you to have the letters all the way across. Bella knows her ABCs <laughs> and as of right now this is actually working just fine for us. As you can see down below we have some new letters that we are entering into our vocabulary today or some new sounds and then up at the top those are our key cards that we are going to be working on or our sound cards or phonogram cards or word cards and yeah it just kind of basically walks you right through how to teach it and then I do have another whiteboard that I do pull out that we do use a lot of them in lesson one is having her pull down each individual little tile and I'm not having her do that. I actually just have her write the word because she already knows it. So some <laughs> things she already knows and some things she doesn't, but I totally get why they say start at lesson one because there were a few things that we had to retrain our brain to do. Yeah. So anyway, this is all about spelling. The last subject that we are learning about today is science and we are learning about whales today. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> not what we're, <laughs> not what we're learning about. We're going to learn about some whales, some not beach bums. We're not that far. Uh, there she blows. That is the part that we stopped on. So oh, she blows. There she blows. So anyway, we're going to start doing our science. And that is it for our subjects today. And we're going to be so happy to be done. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> And then tomorrow we're going to do a tea party. Ooh, maybe actually hold on. We'll be right back in a second. When we're done with science, we're going to make something. Fancy a pop tea. Tomorrow we are going to be having a tea party. So I thought today we could put together 
a tiered tray to put our little sandwiches on. So what I have here are just two glass plates. I have a ton of them. I've had them for years and I don't know what to do with them. I pull them out, you know, for parties and things. They're kind of heavy. They're from the Dollar Tree and I don't really care about them. So, but what do you do? You can't throw them away, right? So what I'm thinking is I also have this bowl. It's also from the Dollar Tree, just a glass, I don't know, crystal bowl. So I thought this could go on the top. And then I also have, I have all this random stuff. I have this random um, little tiny vase. Nice. And so I thought this could be in the middle and then put the two um, plates between it. No, on either side of it, have this be between it. And maybe that would work for a, tr a little stand for us. So we're going to stack it like this. That guy and then this guy on top. Are we making any sense? That looks good, right? I think that'll be perfect. It's just for us. Will this hold forever and ever and ever? Highly doubt it. Okay, so this is what my top looks like. Looks like it's holding. <laughs> That's fancy enough, right? For a fun little tea party? Anyway. That's what we're gonna do tomorrow. And that is our day of homeschool. How did you think it went? I thought it went really long. It, it did go pretty long. It went a lot longer than a normal day, but that's just because- The camera, the we had lighting. We kept moving the camera. Yeah, we had to keep <laughs> rearranging things so that we could kind of show you what we were doing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed your little glimpse into how we do our school. How do you do it? Do you do it differently than us? Okay. I will be honest, most days it runs a lot smoother than it. I felt it did today. But anyway, thanks for watching. And don't forget to comment down below your favorite color is. And head on over to Instagram and enter into that giveaway. Oh, yeah, wherever it's located. It's in the description. <laughs> uh, enter into that giveaway to get that planner. I love my planner. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so whenever we post a video, you guys get notified. And if you want to see a lunch video, click here. And if you want to see a previous lunch video, click here. How do you know where I'm going to put those? I just know, I guess. They're usually like here and here. Okay. Well, then like if you want... Here and here, I think. I think. <laughs> and if you, want, if you want to watch a lunch video, click here. And if you want to watch a previous lunch video, click here. There you go. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.